has already been read in your hearing. Luke 5, verses 1 through 7. However, I'm going to lift up verses 4 through 5. And I'm intentionally reading it in the King James Version. I just need just a tad bit of help, amen, in the mic. Just a little bit, amen. And it reads thusly, thank you. Now when he had loved speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draw. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And beloved, for a little while, uh, I want us to reflect on this thought. Uh, don't uh, play it safe. Launch into the deep. Yes. Don't play it safe. Launch out into the deep. Let us pray, Father, I stand behind this sacred desk. Uh, not taking this preaching moment for granted. But God, I know that I need a touch from the Holy Ghost because uh, it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Uh, once again, God, I'm asking you to create in me a clean heart uh, and renew a right spirit within me. And I'll be so happy to give you the praise. It's in Jesus' name that I do pray, and the people of God in agreement said, Amen. Amen. Beloved, don't uh, play it safe. Um, perhaps there are those uh, under the sound of my voice uh, who are really going through uh, some turbulent times right now. Um, but because you possess the unmitigated goal to trust God, uh, it's safe to say uh, that you don't look like uh, what you've been through. Uh, you may not look like what you've been through, beloved, uh, but the fact of the matter is uh, that going through uh, has taught you uh, a valuable lesson uh, that is better to be safe, come on y'all, uh, than sorry. Yes. So now you're starting uh, to play it safe. Uh, all because you've gone through some stuff. Uh, you know how it goes. Uh, once, uh, shame on you. Uh, but twice, uh, shame, come on y'all, on me. Uh, because you've been through some stuff. Yes. Now you're overly cautious. Uh, and you're walking around gun shy uh, because uh, we've been through some stuff. Uh, ain't nobody uh, gonna get that close to me again. Uh, I'll never love, come on y'all, uh, like that again. Uh, I won't invest uh, that kind of money again. Uh, they won't take my kindness uh, for weakness again. Uh, I'll treat them with a long handle. After what happened the last time, uh, I'm just going to be a pew member. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to play uh, a little something uh, just to keep my name, y'all, uh, on the road. Uh, I can't do all that stuff they want me to do because uh, God knows, come on, y'all, my heart. Because, huh? We've been through some stuff. Uh, come on, Holy Ghost. Uh, we are playing. Uh, it's safe. Uh, are you going to let your past uh, dictate your future uh, just because you've been through a little something? something? Uh, are you going to let your past failures uh, place your life uh, in a holding pattern? Uh, will past mistakes uh, prevent you uh, from trusting even yourself? Will you allow your future to be determined by your past predicament?
commandments. Oh, because you're playing uh, it safe. Yes, yes. Beloved, as I study uh, the word of God, uh, I've discovered uh, that your past uh, merely serves to remind you uh, of God's faithfulness. Uh, yeah. uh, that the time uh, and time again, amen, uh, all you got to do uh, is look at the Hebrew children. Uh, yeah. That God reminds the Hebrew children uh, how in the past uh, that he made a highway, y'all, uh, in the middle of the Red Sea. Uh, yeah. How he provided manna for food uh, even in the middle of the desert. Uh, how he took a two-piece fish dinner to feed the 5,000. God uses the past as evidence of his faithfulness for the future. In other words, if God did it before, God, come on y'all, can do it. Hey, now, now you're with me. Huh? That if God healed you back then, huh? that God can heal you. Come on y'all, right now. Huh? That if God forgave you back then uh, that God can forgive you right now. Uh, that if God blessed you uh, even if it's way back then uh, then God can bless you uh, right now. You see Andre Crouch, uh, he said it like this, uh, if I never had a problem I would know her uh, that he could what? Solve them. Uh, I never know what faith in God uh, could do. Uh, yeah. Beloved, uh, all right. All right. when we look back yeah. over what God has truly brought us out of, yes. we began to understand just how amazing God's grace really is. Yeah. How we didn't lose our mind. When all the hell we went through was mind blowing. But we didn't lose our mind. Yeah. Beloved, that's grace. When well, you had that servant Job uh, experience uh, and you really lost it all, uh, but God restored it all. Uh, you ain't getting it this morning. Uh, that's grace. Uh, that when you choose to remember God's faithfulness in the past, uh, don't you know that it's a setup, uh, that it's a motivator uh, for you to trust God in the future? Uh, you got to start saying stuff uh, like, Lord, I know you hadn't brought me this far uh, to lead me. Uh, thank God uh, you've never said. Me, yeah. Yes. 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 Beloved, the problem becomes uh, when we start living uh, and we start thriving uh, from the bad memories uh, of our past. Uh, yes, we need to learn from our mistakes, uh, but you don't let the learning start to stifle you. Uh, we learn from our past, uh, but we don't allow our to put us in a position where we start playing it safe and we fail to trust God to do a new thing in our lives. Don't uh, play it safe. Which brings me to our sermonic text. Uh, Beloved, we find Jesus, uh, he is preaching uh, and he is teaching, Judge Pam, uh, by the sea uh, of Galilee. Uh, there's a great crowd of folk, y'all, uh, and they are listening uh, intently uh, to the word of God. Uh, but without asking, uh, without inquiring, uh, without permission, uh, Jesus gets uh, into Simon Peter's boat. And then he commands Simon Peter to pull out from the shore. But when you think about it, don't you know that's just like Jesus? You going about your normal routine. You going about your normal day-to-day -day activities. You washing your nets. You minding your business. And without permission, without inquiring, without asking, Jesus interrupts. Gets all up close and personal. Jesus get into your boat. He gets into your business. He walks down your street. He knocks on your door. He commands you to launch out into the deep and let your name 
Jesus. Jesus told Simon Peter, he said, push out into the deep water. And beloved, remember that the fishermen, the brothers had been working hard, y'all, all night long, but they had no resort. And here comes Jesus uh, telling them uh, to launch uh, out, come on y'all, uh, into the deep. Uh, Master, uh, we worked hard all night uh, and haven't caught anything. Beloved, huh. Simon Peter had mastered uh, his craft. Uh, today, uh, we'll call that brother subject matter expert uh on his job Uh, he had walked uh, he had taught all night uh, but he had not caught anything Uh, and some of y'all said what Uh, what was uh, the reason uh, for this Uh, were they using the wrong bait (laughs) instead of using a net should they have used some surface lures some spinners, some jerk bait, some soft bait, some floating divers, some casting lures, a a diamond lures. uh, No, beloved, uh, well, uh, they even using uh, the wrong net. Uh, Somebody need to say no. uh, Had they lacked uh, the skill, uh, I believe no. uh, Had they lacked uh, perseverance, uh, I say no. uh, because they had told uh, all night long. Was there uh, a deficiency of fish uh, in the sea? Uh, Certainly not, beloved. uh, For as soon as the master came, uh, don't you know that the fish started swimming in the net uh, in abundance? Uh, I hear you. You say, what uh, is the reason that the fishermen worked hard all night and didn't even catch a lousy brim. In other words, uh, why did they have this lack (laughs) in this season right now? Uh, What was the reason uh, behind this moment uh, that they're going through? Uh, When you think about it, uh, it's quite simple. uh, That without God, uh, we can, come on y'all, do nothing. They didn't get it, Holy Ghost. uh, That without God, uh, I, come on y'all, can do nothing. Without him. I would fail without him my life would be ragged like a ship but with Christ we can do all things somebody still didn't get it Christ was on the scene and because Jesus was there in their presence their success was confirmed how can I say that that Jesus sat in Simon Peter's boat and Jesus very present drew the fish Jesus sat in Simon uh, Peter's boat and the fish uh, it just started swarming from nowhere uh, I'm talking about Jesus he he sent Pazon and and Peter's boat uh, and all of a sudden monitor and grouper uh, and flounder uh, and catfish uh, and bluefish uh, and monkfish uh, and yellowtail fish uh, and whiting uh, and mustard uh, and hot sauce uh, and cocktail sauce uh, and tartar sauce uh, and white bread uh, it was on and it was popping Jesus Jesus desires to sit in your boat and Jesus very presence will draw the fish to your neck Jesus is saying don't play it safe (laughs) to launch out into the deep beloved even though the fish 
fishermen, stay with me now, uh, had worked hard uh -huh. and caught nothing. Yes. The sea was still full of fish. Yes. Simon Peter, the experienced fisherman, uh, he didn't object to Jesus, the son of a carpenter. They ain't get it. <laughs> they, they, they still don't have it. Uh, who, uh, what a fault uh, that a carpenter could tell an experienced fisherman uh, a thing or two about fishing. <laughs> you see, uh, that's what some of us uh, would have messed up. Uh, you would have started rolling your eyes. Uh, you would have rolled your neck. Uh, you would have popped your lips, uh, suggesting that who are you to tell me? Come on, y'all, what to do? But you can't dispute the facts. The fact of the matter remains that God can use anybody to give you a word, a breakthrough for your situation. What am I trying to say? The word made the difference. The word bought results. The word bought restoration. The word bought change. The word bought grace. The word bought mercy. The word bought a blessing. The word bought faith. The word bought abundance. They said, what is the word? Launch out into the deep and let down. Simon Peter trusted Jesus at his word. Yes, yes. What did Simon Peter say? He said, nevertheless, <laughs> at yeah. thy word. Hey, you, you, you got it, you got it, you got it. He said, nevertheless, at thy word, I will what? Let down. Yes. Yes, yes. Beloved, we must not be governed by the past. Yes. We must not be governed uh, by our traditions. Uh. Yes. We must not be governed by failed attempts uh, or past experiences. Uh. When the Lord speaks, uh, we need to be quick uh, to respond. Uh. That brother said, nevertheless, uh, as I word, uh, he didn't say, let me think about he didn't say let me pray on it I need to fast Oh I need to get to you tomorrow He said nevertheless Hey thou What is he saying He said Jesus On your word <laughs> That's what he said He said Jesus huh? Since you say so Launch out to the deep. Huh? See, see, it's not about new methods. It's not about new techniques. Huh? It's all about hearing from God. See, they missed it. It's all about hearing from God. It's all about being led by the Spirit. It's all about following Jesus. Because in the final analysis, it's all about trusting. Woo. Yes, yes. Don't play it safe. Launch out into the deep. Yes. What am I saying? The greater the trust, the greater the faith. Yes. The greater the trust. Yes. The greater the blessing. Yes. I know I'm in Bible country, and I got to put some Bible behind it. The word of God says that it's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Yes. That it's better to trust the Lord than put confidence in princes. Yes. The Bible also says that some trust in chariots <laughs> and some trust in horses. Yes. But we will trust uh, in the name of the Lord uh, our God. In other words, beloved friends uh, may fail you. Uh, your boo uh -huh, uh, may fail you. Uh, yes. Your family uh, may fail you. Uh, the government uh, may fail 
of you. But I got good news this morning that we serve a God that will never fail you. That is better to trust the word of God because all God's words are true and all his righteous laws are eternal. I just need a little bit more time because you're getting out early. Jesus. Beloved, when we live close enough to God yeah. to hear his word yes. and launch out in faith and launch out in the deep, yeah. we will experience the abundance of the Lord. Yeah. I got to press my claim. Huh? Beloved, huh? When Simon uh, Peter responded in obedience, <laughs> yes. when Simon uh, Peter yes. trusted Jesus uh, yes. at his word, uh, when Simon Peter replied, nevertheless, uh, at thy word, uh, I will let die on the net, uh, that Simon Peter's uh, obedience uh, led to abundance. Oh, I got to back it up with the word. The Bible says that when they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. Beloved Simon Peter's obedience led to abundance. He didn't overanalyze. He didn't overstrategize. He didn't pull out his he didn't do a historical analysis. He said, because you said it, Jesus, I trust you and your word. They signal. They signal. Come on. They signal their partners. So some of y'all are so selfish. You wouldn't have tried to help nobody else. You would have wanted all the fish for yourself. But they started signaling. Y'all better hurry up and get over here. And the boats came. And they filled the boats up so full until they even began to sing. Yeah. That's the word. Simon Peter's obedience led to abundance. What am I trying to say? That Simon Peter, huh? That brother had a choice. Come on now. In the matter. Yes. He had a decision to make. Yes. Peter could have said, been there, done that, <laughs> bought the t-shirt. Man. Don't you know I've been out here all night? Yes. But Peter listened to the voice of the master. Yes. Beloved, I'm going to close with a quote from Mark Batterson's book, All In. Yes. And again, I am quoting, amen. Yes. He says, he says, quit living as if the purpose of life Jesus. is to arrive safely at death. Yes. Set God-sized goals. Pursue God-ordained passions. Yes. Go after a dream that is destined to fail without divine intervention. Yes. Keep asking questions. Keep making mistakes. Keep seeking God. Stop pointing out problems. Become part of the solution. Stop repeating the past. Start creating a future. Stop playing it safe. Start taking risks. Expand your horizon. Accumulate experiences. Enjoy the journey. Find every excuse you can to celebrate everything you can. Live like today. 
is the first day and the last day of your life. Don't let what's wrong with you keep you from worshiping what's right with God. I'm going to repeat that. Don't let what's wrong with you keep you from worshiping what's right with God. Burn sin for bridges. Blaze new trails. Don't let fear dictate your decisions. Take a flying leap of faith. Quit holding out. Quit holding back. Go all in with God. And that's the end of the quote. But see, some of y'all still don't have it. They don't, they don't, they don't have it. In other words, don't play it safe. Launch out and trust God. Who cares that your business went bankrupt? Trust God. Yes. Strategize. Yes. Ask God for a new business plan. Yes. Don't play it safe. You better launch out. Right. Yes, your marriage ended in divorce. Yes. Pray, ask God for forgiveness. Yes. And trust God yes. for a new love. Yes. Don't. You ain't got to like me, but I'm going to free up some folk today. Yes. Play it safe. You better launch out. Yes. Your mortgage didn't go through. In fact, uh, it was denied. Uh, you better partner uh, with God uh, because faith uh, without works uh, is dead. Uh, and ask God uh, to help you uh, fix the problem. Uh, don't uh, play it safe. Uh, you better launch out. Uh, yeah, you retired uh, and you're living uh, on fixed income. Uh, but you got to trust God uh, to make a way uh, out of no way. Uh, don't play it safe. Uh, you better launch out. Uh, you got a bad uh, diagnosis uh, from the doctor. Uh, but whose report uh, will you believe uh, that God specializes uh, in healing uh, when man says no? Uh, God can always say yes. Uh, don't play it safe. Uh, you better launch out. Uh, don't play it safe. Uh, you better trust God. Uh, don't play it safe. Uh, you better get in these waters. Uh, don't play it. Somebody say, mm, that's easily said than done. Yes. I know. But that's where faith come in. Yes. James says that faith uh, without works is dead. Yes. Hey. Some of y'all say I'm too afraid. Uh, but let me tell you about fear. It just sat down and said his prayers. Uh, that's where courage come in. Yes. Don't let your past put you in a vice grip that you can't trust God to do something in your life. Because God can turn it around. When I think about the goodness of Jesus and what he's done for me and how he's brought me from a mighty, 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 mighty Lord. Beloved, you can't trust God because you're not in relationship with God. This is not some feel-good message to try to make you think once you accept salvation that they're not going to be mountain highs and valley lows. But I'd rather have Jesus going through the valley. Beloved, if you've never accepted Jesus 
as your personal savior. See, let me clue you in on something. See, when you accept Jesus as your Savior, when you confess uh, that he died on the cross for your sins, uh, but he got up with all power in his hand, when you make that confession, uh, then you have the gift of the Holy Ghost, uh, and when you have the gift of the Holy Ghost, uh, he will give you wisdom, he will give you insight, he will order your steps, he will bring stuff back to remembrance. You need the Holy Ghost in your life. But you got to get Jesus first. So if you never accepted the gift of salvation, beloved, don't leave out here the same. Don't let folks do a number on you. It's not that complex. It's just a simple prayer said in humility and sincerity. The first appeal, beloved, is for salvation. The second appeal is for church membership. Oh, I believe in God for the vision. I don't care if it comes from you or he give it to me, but we're believing God for what he wants St. Paul to do in this season. Yes, yes. I need you. We need all hands on deck. We're not a perfect church, but we serve a perfect God. So beloved, the door